Thousands of Western Iowa Tech students gathered this afternoon at the Sioux City campus to show their concern for the alleged treatment of a college instructor who recently resigned. Mariana Pacheco, who worked as a psychology instructor at WIT, said she was stalked on campus by a former student. She added the student boasted having access to AR-15s in his homework assignments. Pacheco resigned after she brought her concerns to campus police and nothing changed. Students at today's protest say they want a change in WIT's policies about on-campus safety. She had to be escorted to all her classes and escorted to her office, escorted to her car. That's ridiculous. No one should have to go through that. Any school should be a place where you feel safe. And if you're not feeling safe, then what's the point in me paying you for me to be at your college and you did not make me feel protected. This afternoon, KTIV spoke with Pacheco about her resignation. We also spoke with a representative of Western Iowa Tech. KTIV's Connor Trett has the story. Six, seven, eight, we just want our campus safe. What do we want? Safety. When do we want it? Now. Pacheco, Pacheco, Pacheco. The anger Pacheco. from these students was easy to see and hear. Anger over the resignation of Western Iowa Tech psychology instructor Mariana Pacheco after claims she was stalked and harassed on campus. He was one of my former students. He took three classes with me. He's going around my class in circles, staring at me and going again, staring at me and going again. Just things got worse and, and things got very scary. The former WID instructor also told KTIV in a half hour interview Tuesday afternoon that the former student would follow her on campus to her office and wait for her in hallways. Pacheco reached out to campus police, WID administrators and Sioux City police about the stalking and harassment. I filed a complaint with the police here uh, in, like on campus multiple times. They're the ones that told me to use my mom voice and they would just minimize. It was anything that I said was met with just this is normal. When complaints are brought in, we have our policies and our procedures that we follow, and we follow them to a T. We do the due diligence, and we investigate the situation so that we can give both parties the support that they need. Pacheco, who taught at WIT for two years, emailed her students after she submitted her resignation. She said, quote, although this decision has been quite painful, it has been prompted by the college's failure to ensure my safety, leaving me with no choice but to resign, end quote. But I hope that my resignation would um, work as a as a catalyst, right, as a catalyst for positive change um, because, I, like I said, I know I'm not um, the only faculty and or student who's going through the same thing there. In Sioux City with photographer Joe McMahon, Connor Trett, KTIV News 4. Pacheco and students KTIV spoke to today say the student involved in this case is still on campus. When asked to confirm that, a WIT representative said she could not because of the confidential nature of this case. But she did go on to say, quote, we want to make sure that WIT stays a place where our students and our faculty can feel safe.